Welcome back to Plas Bells, the first intermission of the rookie showdown. Montreal Canadiens versus the Ottawa Senators on TSN 690. Sean Campbell alongside J.P. O'Connor. As uh, it's one nothing Ottawa on a shorthanded goal from Alex Formanton. Uh, but J.P., I want to welcome in our guest as someone who's been to a couple rookie showdown and tournaments in the past. Not playing tonight, but rookie showdown veteran. Jeremiah Addison. How you doing, Jeremiah? I'm doing good, guys. How you guys doing? Uh, very well. Uh, first, how are you feeling? Because last year, you, you, you put on a show in the Rookie Showdown, and then you got hurt, and then you pl- ended up playing six games all year at the end of the year. So physically, how are you heading to this I'm training good. camp? I'm good. I'm feeling good. Um, it's been a long year, but you know it was worth it, and I'm just excited to get things going now. I'm feeling better each day, and just now ready to play hockey. You, you walked in here, and, and I would think for someone that's been to so many, and you're an older guy for, with all these young guys, you wouldn't want to play. You're like, man, it sucks I'm not playing tonight. Like, you want to play hockey. Yeah, I mean, it's the point, right? We all want to play hockey, right? I mean, you want to make the NHL. You want to come out and show what you can do. So, it's, you know, I want to play. Yeah. I'm curious to know, Jeremiah, where's your where's your headspace after the injury last year? What's it been like to come back from that? You know, it, it was a long year. Definitely, it was my first time dealing with a big injury like that. But you know, just talking with my parents and doing my prayers and just one thing at a time. Just, so tell the li- tell, tell tell the listeners what you went through. Uh, you know, it was uh, so I had the surgery early in the September, and then uh, I was in a body sling for about two months, and then after that, I was doing rehab till about February, and then I finally started skating about March. So. It was a long year, but just one thing at a time and going day by day, and that's the way you got to take it, and that's the way it was. So so you finished the season with just six games in Laval, and you wanted probably where you were situated a whole season in Laval to really prove where you fit within this organization, make all the steps up to the top. We all know the Canadians and being on the Canadians is the ultimate goal. So what is the program for you after only playing six games last year? What is your mindset heading into a game on Sunday because you're not playing tonight and then training camp uh, starting next week? Uh, Just come out and continue to show what I can do, right? I mean, not really putting any pressure, just going in and doing what I've done. Right, I mean, I've been here for about five years now, so they, they know what I can do. So it's just coming out and not only show them what I can do, but show them what I can do at an NHL level. What's your favorite thing to do? Is it score goals, hit players, uh, set up something? Like, I, I look, I, I've seen you do this, but a lot of listeners don't know who Jeremiah Addison is. Uh, my favorite thing to do, I, honestly, I love winning puck battles. I love the, the feeling of that dominance, right? Because when you go into a puck battle, it's one on one. One on one, you got you, it. When Absolutely. you come out with that, it means you're just physically better. Yep, you've got one up on somebody, right? Absolutely. Um, what is the what's the messaging that the Canadians are sending you right now? Like, what are they telling telling you? I mean, you've been here for a couple of years now. Um, are they looking at you more as a as a guy who is uh, taking on a leadership role on the ice right now? Uh, I think with the younger prospects, because I've been here and I've been around, that taking more of a leadership role. You know, helping the young guys out and making sure everybody's at meetings and stuff like that. But with the older guys, just being a learner, right? Being a sponge, soaking it all in and making sure I'm paying attention. And, just ready to go so when my turn is to be able to hit it out of the park it's ridiculous to think a guy this young is is talking about the young guys isn't it? <laughs> i know right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the nature of the beast it's a young man's game now it right it is man. so so last year because you were hurt but it was like the first time the team came to laval it was your first year pro and then you're going to be heading into your second year pro do you think indirectly maybe that helped you get ready for what you expect to do this year yeah definitely right i think everything was the first year it was a learning experience we had a young team last year so that was good to be able to hang out with the guys and all the guys were good so i think more than anything just heading into experience and using what i have and just being able to apply it so so what can we see on sunday i think i'm just going to see me compete see me go hard and make things happen what uh can we talk about joel bouchard a little bit what's been your what's been your impressions of him so far no he's good he's a straight shooter right he's a, <laughs> he's a black and he's a black and white kind of guy he's the kind of guy that wants to see you work hard and he wants to see the best for you which is what you want to see from your coach right and that just makes me want to play harder well i can't wait to see you out on the ice and uh, i know that the canadian fans are excited to see what you can provide this year after uh, a bit of a lost year last year but i think uh, in the end it'll probably make you stronger and better heading uh, forward so good luck on sunday and good luck at training camp thanks jeremiah. guys appreciate it thanks for having me jeremiah addison enjoy of, uh, it Montreal canadians prospect is uh, getting ready for the rookie showdown off day veteran off day he'll be uh, in action on sunday we can expect as we'll have that game live on tsn 690